An electric shock killed a man in Kansas City, Kansas last night. It all happened at the Lakeside Speedway at 56 and Wolcott Drive. Beth Vaughn has the very latest now from the newsroom. Beth. Yeah, 55 year old, 55 year old Dennis Mike Bowles traveled from Arkansas with family to watch his brother race in KCK. Now, according to witnesses, even before the race began, Bowles walked between two trailers and touched an unknown electrical source. The last of the RVs pulled away from an empty lakeside speedway today after a weekend of unexpected surprises. There's at least three or four fire department uh, trucks here, one ambulance. By 5.30, Jerry Russell heard sirens at his speedway campsite. There's so many people that you just thought, you know, somebody fell or somebody had heat stroke or something in the stands because it was warm. Some people said it was a heart attack, others said it was electrocution, so we were getting various uh, reports at that time. Fire crews determined 54-year-old Mike Bowles was electrocuted. No official word yet on what caused that fatal shock. His Arkansas neighbor, Calvin Edwards, told us by phone that the accident has been hard, especially for his only daughter. And of course, took it real hard. Uh, and our father uh, just went up uh, you know, on Friday and got killed yesterday. Edwards says Bowles was a good man, known for sharing simple pleasures with the neighborhood. Mike could make a, a heck of a chocolate cake. Life is uh, it's going in a minute, and we all know that. You know, we just live with that, and we just keep it in our subconscious. A somber end to a set of races that Bowles traveled miles to see. We repeatedly called Lakeside Speedway to find out how Boyles was, or excuse me, Bowles was electrocuted. They did not return any of our phone calls. In the newsroom tonight, Beth Vaughn, NBC Action News.